Doctor Who the Demons Episode 1 Village Green is dark and stormy night in the quiet village of Everborn. Wiltshire pretends to be Devil's End with an appropriate eerie howling and a thunderstorm. Lightning briefly illuminates a church across the green the public house of Clutho. Turns out to its last customer is man and his dog is in a storm. Jim, good night, Frank. Frank O.C. Good night, Jim. By the churchyard, the dog gets a f- free of his master. He runs through the gravestones, barking. Joan follows. We hear a strange noise. A look of terror comes over his face. Street. Next morning, dry and clear. Locals for church trick spinster. Walking along with the local doctor. Hawthorne. You died of fright, doctor. Bees, my dear Miss Falls, Hawthorne. Hawthorne, I don't care what you say. The man died of fright. Bees, my dear Miss Hawthorne. Medical diagnosis was quite clear. He died of a heart attack. Hawthorne, but his face. Bees, slight preclusion of the eyeballs. Richard's drawing a lip behind over the back of the teeth. Common enough in a heart failure. Hawthorne. The signs are there for all to see. A castle ruins only this morning. Rees, you'll have to excuse me. I have my rounds to do. Dr. Rees gets into his car. Or phone if Professor Homer opens up that barrel. He'll bring disaster to all us all. Rees drives away, Hawthorne. This is just the beginning. Barrow. Cameras have been set up at the archaeological dig. Technician. A bit more, David. Fergus. Professor Homer? Warner? Technician. That's it. Fergus. That's where he's the uh, now where's he got to for Pete's sake as there goes to the tunnel entrance the bowels of the ancient burial mould now Fergus Harry Harry hello there sir what's up Fergus where's Professor Homer Harry probably he's in makeup unless he's had second thoughts and scrap scarpered Fergus what Harry well you know the local chat death and disaster if he goes to Bavaro Fergus well It'll be a disaster if he doesn't get a shift on. Harry, OK, I'll chase him up. Unit HQ, carriage. The doctor's working the best his engine. Joe, but he really, but really, but it really is a joy of the age of Aquarius. Doctor, so? Joe, well, that means the occult. Well, you know, the supernatural and all that magic bit. Doctor, you really, you know, really, Joe? I've obviously wasted my time trying to turn you into a scientist. Joe, well, how do you... No, there's nothing in it. Don't know where or how. Well, I just know, that's all. Everything that happens in life must have a scientific explanation. If you know where to look for it, that is, excuse me. Joe, yes, but suppose something had, was to happen. Nobody knew its explanation. Well, nobody in the world, in the universe. Well, that would be magic, wouldn't it? Don't you know, Joe, for a reasonably intelligent young lady, you'd have the most absurd ideas. But she starts up and dries off. Doctor Joe, Joe, Doctor, look. Bessie goes for an independent spin and yard before driving back to the garage. Doctor Bessie, how dare you go gallivanting around like that, Pap? Doctor, are you sorry? Pap, Pap, holds Bessie. Doctor, very well, I forgive you. Now go back to your parking place before I change my mind. Bessie reverses out of the garage. Yates, I don't know. There's a good explanation for all this. I can't think of it for it for the moment. Doctor, could you believe magic? Yeah, it's magic, Doctor. Hmm. Do well, Joe. Joe, well, Joe, that's not fair. Doctor, well, you explain it then. Joe, I don't know. I suppose you did. You did it. Doctor, naturally. Should I say scientifically? Steroids of the solar mechanism in Bessie and Doctor takes her outside box out the overall pocket. Doctor, I'm ready to control you in here. You see how easy it is to be a magician? Joe, how inferiority you, can you, you can you get? Well, it doesn't prove anything, Doctor. Would you like me to show you some more, then? Joe, no thanks. I've had enough of your ne- ne- knavish tricks. Anyway, I want to see that PV program, Mike. Would you give me a lift? Jake, sure. Joe, thanks. Jake, you coming, Doctor? Doctor, coming where? Yates, well, to see that program. Doctor, oh, no, not you, Captain Yates. Yo, Jake, so oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Very exciting. Full case of doom and disaster of anyone who served as a railroad chamber. Doctor, Captain Yates, you stand me. Yates, well, you never know. Devil's End has a funny interpretation. Doctor, what did you say? Yates, Devil's End, the village near the dig. 
Doctor, Devil's End, Devil's End, Ryan, Devil's End. Doctor, are you right? Doctor, yes, I'm, yes, I'm fine. You at the yard gates. Where are you going, Doctor, to see that TV program, of course. Doctor gets in the best of church chaos and... The focus is getting underway. The time team isn't. Angus Fergus speaking direct to the camera, his voice echoing nearly the dark undercroft. Fergus Devil's End. Very name sends a shiver up the spine. Richard Devil End, the famous curse. Victoria's cabin underneath the uh, church, with the third Lord of Aragorn, playing his 18th century parody of black magic. Devil's End is part of the dark mythology of our childhood days. And now, first time the cameras previously been allowed inside the cabin itself. In his cabin, pagan man performed his unspeakable rites. In his cabin, the witches of the 7th century hid from the Mafias and Margaret Raphael Hopkins, wish hunter of Sovereign Air. Kevin, they would go on all day. Fergus goes past the taboo. The devil worships a cross legged gurgle, chin resting in its hands. Fergus, there is something strange about Devil then. Professor Homer, being as foolish as the critics would suggest, I must admit, standing here in this unquiet place, begin to wonder myself, Barrow. Harry, quiet please, the clues. Fergus, standing outside the entrance, tunnel, tunnel entrance. Fergus, while I was recording that earlier, this afternoon, the Archbishop Dick was feeding a pace. Professor Homer and his team were cut their way into the Devil's Hump. As if Barrow was called by the locals, as ever if it was growing pine. Now the question is, can Professor Homer put up put out his plum? I won't get on with it, man. Fergus, I will the press will be pruned to Rossi Long. Huge HQ room. Bunk beds, table, telephone, drinks machine, television Brenton is watching T V. Fergus on T V. For one two hundred years. Come from Trinity's reign. What is the devil's hump? Now we're not the first to try to find out. Bad when from 1793, the Sir Percival Finch miners ran back to Cornwall, leaving him for dead. The famous Cambridge University of Fresco, 1939. Joe, the doctor in the eighth centre. Joe, has it started yet? Finish, doctor. Let's see what he has to say. Fergus on TV. A vain and an enigma, but tonight the enigma will be solved. Barrow to Fergus tonight. The midnight of which our viewers on BBC Three, you'll be to have the privilege of being present with Professor Gilbert Golner, a digital archaeologist. Hold her get round to me. At last, have you? About time too, Fergus. Not yet, Professor. Not yet. Hold her, hey, you bring that camera up here, would you? Come on, Barrow entrance for Elmer. Leave Fergus and the camera and down the tunnel to a large stone blocking their way. Hona, there. That's the spot. Six inches behind there lies the greatest archaeological find in this country had known since Sato Hole. Fergus, would you like to explain that reference, Professor? Hona, no. And at midnight tonight, Fergus, Sutton Hole? Of course. Hona, never mind about Sutton Hole. This is that what your precious viewers are interested in. Devil's Hump. What's inside it, right? Fergus, and what is inside it? Homer, treasure, that's what. A tomb, a great warrior, chief in Bronze Age, 800 BC. Fergus, you're very precise. Homer, no need to take down my word for it. See you for yourself, midnight. Fergus, I'm all rest. How well now? Oh, yes, now then. Why midnight and why tonight? Homer, the way it is well, it's obvious. For April 30th is Bentane, isn't it? Fergus, Bentane, Homer, you know. You ought to have done your homework before you came to this dig. Fergus, for the viewers, Professor. Homer, Bill 13, Pentain. Greatest cultural earth festival of the year, bar Halloween. Unit HQ, room. Fergus, TV, with frankly, are not much wiser. Dr. Pentain, of course. Come on TV. All on TV, you heard the tales. They placed the ghosts, the witches, the curse, famous cures. Fergus on TV, you don't believe that? Oh no, oh no, on TV for you, Fergus on TV, well then, why do have you? I'm on TV, you're my new book comes out, Fergus on TV, oh then it's, well not one night, call a publicity cover unit, I'm on TV, 12 o'clock lad, 
Douglas on TV. And I'm not concerned about the reaction of your colleagues to the doctor. You know there's something very, very wrong here. Joe, hey, you really mean that, don't you? I'll go on TV. On well, TV, you may react the same way as always. They turn green against, well, what could be good could go be wrong? Focus on TV, but sh- but surely if you, but I don't know, Quaris, the doubles hump, Benteen, Fairphone, Holophone, on TV, I know perfectly well, on air, that's why I'm here, Doctor, come on, think. Benton, Doctor, look, something's coming on. Rokos has moved back outside the barrow to fend off Miss Horshaw. Horshaw and her umbrella. Her phone phone on TV. Get your hands off me, young man. Let go, let me go. Fergus. Barrow Fergus. Well, okay, Harry. Hofun, I come to here to protect you and protect the shell. Fergus, now this is Professor Nurse Hofun, a prominent local resident who is very much opposed to Professor Lola Dig. Professor Homer, I believe you two already met. Fauna, I say that this dog woman has been pressing me for weeks. Hofun, been trying to make you see reason. Fergus, Miss Hofun, why are you so opposed to this dig? Hofun, because this is a man is tempering with forces he does not understand. Hona? Oh, come on now, Hawthorne. You're being dis- destructed, being destructed yourself, and the whole area. You insist death and disaster await you. Believe me, I know. Fergus? Well, what was well, that's just it. Why should we believe you, and how do you know? Hawthorne, I am a witch. Homer, Hona, you see, I told you, you dark. Fergus, Miss Hawthorne, you don't even mean, really mean to say. Hawthorne, I tell you, I'm a witch. Right, of course, because that's why you should listen to me or no. Fergus, well, thank you very much, Miss Hawthorne. A most, for a most interesting Hawthorne, I cast the ruins, consulted the totem and the mercury. If it in the stars, when day is come, tread softly, for lo, the prince himself is nigh, tonight for his bone pain. Hona, you see, man is a hazard, prince. Hawthorne, the prince of evil, the dark one, the horned beast. Unit HQ room. Doctor, come on, Joe. Joe, where to? Doctor, where will end, of course. That woman is perfectly right. We've got to stop that lunatic before it's too late. Joe and the doctor leave. Dynamic music drowns. Conversation on television until Fergus and TV. Miss Hawthorne? Professor Hunter, thank, thank you so. Barrow. Fergus, there we are. It seems the time is running out. Oh, no, oh, well, we're more ways than one. What is going to happen? At midnight. Why not tune in to BBC Three at eleven forty five tonight? I find out. Till then for me it's goodbye now. As a focus a prayer scene prayed. Devil's end. Close Club and Hoof Bar. Treasure behind this bar is switched off. Win Stanley, old man, squire. Good for Miss Hawthorne. She kept her end up jolly well. But mine boast host. A woman's round the twist, if you ask me. Always has been. Grows it on. You're right, Bert. Should have put her away years ago. When Stanley, oh, yeah, I'm not so sure. She wasn't, hasn't got a point for you speaking, I know. Grows it on. What's all that stuff about death and disaster? Are you not telling me you believe it, Mr. When Stanley? When Stanley, well, no. But there have been a lot of queer goings on the last few weeks. Strange and noises and gusts of wind. And poor old Jim dropping down the graveyard. But yeah, Frank was telling me that his crows come dry. Have gone gr- dry. If my wife hens have stopped laying. We're standing yes, and all since they started digging up the old devil's hump. But could we just be coincidence, you know? Bridgerton, we have a spell of bad weather. Always upsets things, that does. We're standing yes, but just suppose she's right. Uh, how about that, Bert? But, well, I tell you, if that old one does come along, it. If that if the old one does come along here tonight, you can have my best room, my bread and butter is his. Treat the village constable comes out of number three and goes to his bicycle room. Good evening, Miss Hawthorne. Saw you intelligent just now. Very good, I thought you were. Hawthorne, you chopped me up, cut me off. Don't you worry, constable. I'll get my chance later tonight, you see. Sudden and strong wooden wooden blasts about in the streets, nearly blowing them off their feet. Hawthorne, the bat. 
all his sen- the essentials. Graham picks up a large rock from his uh, garden. Holfern, the vet, he only has a vestry. Graham walks up behind Holfern with a rock. Holfern beats still, they turn the, the day rusting. Graham lies down, the groom sleep, loads the rock. Holfern might be peace, the day sleeping. Mr. Groom, is Groom, are you right? Groom, yes, I think so. I just felt a little bit faint for a moment or two. Holfern, I'm not so surprised, not at all. Uh, it will pass, Mr. Groom, it will pass. We're a better, thing a lot better now, ready, thank you. Hawthorne, we must be on our guard, all of us. Hawthorne walks off. Groom looks down the rock he's holding. Me and Dr. Joe are driving around the country road of Bessie. Strong wind grabs a four-finger sign. Closer junction spins it around, sending them straight on instead to Devil's End. Church and Miss Hawthorne walks through the, along the wall towards the vicarage. The verge is suddenly just appears in front of her. Hawthorne, oh, Gavin, what do you want? Hawthorne. How dare you jump at me like that? Out of my way, please, Kevin. What do you want? Over and well, if you know, must know. I wish to contact the vicar. Kevin, Mr. Mayor to treat, not in a moment. Over, not him, the mean, the real vicar. Over, what, what, what would you call Mr. Mason Street then? Over, I mean, Kevin Smallwood, our old vicar, a one who left in such mysterious circumstances. Kevin, nothing mysterious about it. Take any old lad to leave. Hold on, Sonny. In the middle of the night, without so much as a goodbye to anyone in the village. Kevin and I have got no time to listen to your nonsense. I've got work to do. I feel very well, very well then. I see the other gentleman. I can't say I like him, but at least he's not a man of cloth. Kevin, I told you, uh, you didn't. Didn't I? He's not in. Hold on, well, I intend to find out for myself. Let me pass. Oh, I've earned your part, wasting your time, hold on. If you don't stand out my way, Kevin, I shall force, be forced to use violence. Master, dear me, I hope that violence will not be necessary. Good evening, Miss Hawthorne. And what do, can I do for you? Union HQ room, Benton is finishing a telephone call. Benton, well, you might have made a mess of my evening. The brigadier enters in a regimental dress. White gloves, brigadier. Everything in order, rates? Kate's okay, nice, sir, no problems. Dr. Brigadier, all right, Benton, right, I'm off. You know where to reach me if anything crops up. YHS, sir. Have a good evening, sir. Brigadier, thank you, Captain. Yates, good night. Yates, good night, sir. Brenton, good night, sir. Dogadiers leaves. Brenton, it's all right. For some, isn't it, sir? A sake with a television, a plate of corned beef sandwiches. Churchyard, corn corn. I beg you to help me, Master. Minister, 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 Help me stop the foolish man. Nurse, sir, you mean a professor? But surely, Hawthorne, you must not enter the tomb tonight of all nights. Martha, why not? Why ever not? Hawthorne, Bontaine, was it evil about a ball tonight? Most of really, Miss Hawthorne? As uh, a rational man, I. Hawthorne, you are mortal peril. We're all in mortal peril, Dicker. You have no concern for souls in your care. Master's soul is such a very deep concept, doing the matter, matter essentially. I, Hawthorne, essentially. Oh, you are blockhead. Master, Miss Hawthorne, one moment you are very distressed. I see that. You know you really are warily and jewelry. Master moves his spectacles and takes a look. Master, there's nothing to worry about. You must believe me. You must believe me, Hawthorne. Must believe. Oh, why should I believe you? Rationalist, essentialist, a priest indeed. Master, listen, uh, listen to me. Well, then you're foolish, sir. If you if you won't help me, I'll just find someone who will. Hold on, banishes her ankle, banishes, banishes her ankle, at the, at the dot, master and leave. Master just is out going to follow her. Road, the night has fallen. The doctor stops Bessie at junction. Joe tries to read on the map by torchlight. Doctor, no good, we're hopefully lost. Joe, I can't understand it, we followed the signpost all night. Doctor, well, if we had, we would have been there by now. We must have missed one. Joe, I did not. Doctor, if you look at the map the right way up, we might eventually get there. Now, which is it? way is it? Uh, Joe, oh, that way. Doctor, thank you very much. Barrow, Harry, you all right, Minister? Fergus, of course. Oh, I'm all right. Why shouldn't I be, for peace sake? All this should be questioned, Harry. I only asked. There's no need to make a production number out of it. Fergus, I'm sorry, Harry. 
just an edge bit of age, that's all. It'll be all right. Harry, everyone's, everything's okay, Harry Professor. Won't be long now, Holner. Any sign of that fool woman? Harry, not so far. Hold her very on, but keep her away from me. I tell you, lad, I'm a bit, I, I do a mischief. Harry, do your best. Now you've got everything straight. Mr. Stop in Traversa. Then I give you a cue to that launch a spill. Hold a spill? Harry, the chat bit. Montonius occasion and all Montrose occasion Montrose occasion all that oh no I sir oh I on a tone says good old break in the trail ch- chamber the church clock strikes the first stroke of midnight be that be absolutely super honor right old lad I'll do my best to absolutely super be absolute super super so Harry professor suppose something does happen how you know and like Harry personal appearance of you know who how honor yes well, yeah, it was your lifted, lad. Get your charity friend over there to interview him, Harry. Of course. What did you think of that? Unit HQ room. Benton's watching a rugby football on the television with Yates Centre's commentator on TV. Trying to run out of his own 25 inside an area. Yates, whatever happened... Anything happened yet? Ben, no, sir, not a thing. Commentator on TV. Watson? Can't hold it. Yates? Isn't it about time for a dig? Ben, and just about. These are the highlights of the game at Twickenham. Yates? Better turn that over then. Comedy on TV. Here's Robson. Jay, wait. How did you do. How did you. Hey, did you see that? Yates? Quite right, too. The scrum is awarded. Commentator on TV. And I'm on the Stafford countryside. Oh, who are Benton? As bad as the ref, as bad as it is the ref, you are so oh, no. Yates, that would learn them. The club and the whole bar. But come along, the old brains, drink up. The doctor and Joe enter. But sorry, sir, well past time. Joe, that's quite all right. You don't want a drink. Just direction to Hall's hump. That was hump. Joe, where is the diggers? Joe, oh, you're going up there, are you? It's, not, it's all on telly. It's all on telly, you know. Dr. Yes, I know. But would you please tell us anyway? It's very urgent, but always in such a hurry, you town folk. Be the same in a hundred years' time, sir. Dr. Assure you, sir. Be no such thing. When, Sally? Are you one of those television chaps, then? Dr. I'm not the sort of chap, sir. May Sally forgive me, but I thought the costume and the wig, you know. Doctor, the wig? Joe, now, Doctor. Brenton. Why do you want, what, what do you want to go out the hump for anyway? Do I look, this is no time for any of these unnecessary questions. But all the time, all the time, well, sir. Do I want to go to Devil's Hump? Because they want to stop the lunatic professor of your, of your, from bringing disaster, devastation upon all you, you all. Brendan, hey, one of Miss Hawthorne's brigade, Ginton leaves. But as if nobody capable of answering a perfectly normal, simple quarry. What's the matter with you all? Ben Stanley, you're making all the fuss, old man. Doctor Fuss, I've never heard of such poor trash at all. Joe, Doctor, look, could you please tell us the way? You say yes, certainly. Pa, straight, pa, straight past the green outside, clock left, straight up, arise, you can't miss it. Doctor, excellent, thank you very much. Joe, thank you. Goodbye. Grin Stanley, stroking fellow. Church vestry, Genton, white hair, he had a salt cloak. Mother, did he by chance call himself a doctor? Genton. That's right. It's what the girl called him. How do you know that? Martha, it's no importance. Well, Gunton, you done very well. Why? Why, why aren't you ready, Gunton? I thought I should tell you. You said you were going to stop the dig. Martha, you'd better hurry and change. We start the ceremony in a few minutes. Gunton goes down to the cabin, but the master takes a red robe, a red gold trim for the vestments of the cupboard. He puts it on and goes down to join a group of black robed figures in the cabin, under the watchful gaze of the royal, the sound of dripping water. He steps up to the altar, acolytes bring gold vessels. Barrow, Harry, quiet please. Lots of harmony hush. Quiet, stand by on studio announcement now. Good luck, Tom. Fergus, welcome back, viewers. Ah, uh, and here's to the devil's hump. The excitement is intense. The stage is set. What shall we see when the curtains rises? Church cabin, Betty drives at speed down the road. Master begins his ceremony. The black candles are lit as well. 
small cauldron from smoking master. As my will, no so might it be, cover no ruin. The master springs on holy water the altar. It raises of hand in prayer. Master, how can my voice, O oh, harbour one, ancient and awful suspain in art of fish, say spare of the power, I plunge thee, be present thee, at one of my command, truly do my will, Arababa, Arababa, Zad, Zagola, Gadala, Kavanel, Lola, Gaijaka, must have on my will, so what to be, must have dropped some incense, so cold and it flares, road, and the way is blocked by a swollen tree, the doctor and Joe try to move it, doctor's no good, they're just, we're just wasting time, come on, we run, we run, we might, we might, we'll just make it, Barrow entrance, Tona, let's face it, you had a bad, you brought enough, bad, uh, another fellow, you see for yourself, well, I tell you, you're not going to see, Stonewall, there you are, but I tell you, not dark, Church Kevin, dark Kevin, obviously, El Kawa, El Kawa, Master Awa, Et Kawa, Eskris, Gloria, Tekum, Gorum, Yama, Ataya, Dayanaya, Once the Asherah, So, Iskara, Let's Mel, Ita, Mel, Dara, Yama, Havanaya, Et Bentamaya, Master Okwa, Halda, Kevin Okwa, Sahala, Barrow underground Homer Horner goes is a trout clean round the large slab sealed in the barrel chamber. But the ground and Doctor Joe run across the grass. Church clock starts its midnight chime. Doctor stop, stop with that dig, stop it. Master Kevin, master. By the power of earth, by the power of all by air. Power of the air and the life and turn fire eternal. The fire the wilderness of the deep. And plunge thee and change thee. As well, as well, revise of my command. As hell, as hell, come on, as hell. Barrow entrance. Don't, don't, don't pull that stone, don't. The stone falls forward, knocking Homer down. On the down, the barrel, the foam around blasts out. Out for the tunnel and don't demolish the card, the card table. The lights outside, Kevin. Church Kevin, the master laughs in triumph. He's covering stagger around. Master Azuro, Carlton, looks with goggle eyes, slow red. His head turns from side to side. Darrow entrance. Go, doctor. Are you right? Oh, no, no, doctor. I was literally out cold as hot as snow. A roof, tunnel roof, starts to cave in. Joe, doctor, no, doctor. Oh, no. 